Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. We're going to start off with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of April 2021. How are you doing Aries? I hope you guys are doing amazing. It is Aries season. I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. I hope you guys are feeling empowered. Another turn of the sun is always a blessing. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of April 2021. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm getting a lot of momentum for a lot of you guys. You're going to be experiencing, almost feeling like you're being pulled towards different directions. Um, what they're saying here is you're going to be feeling like you're being pulled towards different directions, but this is a positive thing. I feel that a lot of you guys are going to feel like you don't have enough time for the month of April. It could be that you're spending a lot of work, a lot of time, sorry, a lot of time at work. It could be that you are busy chasing aspirations and goals. Um, all the while, for some of you guys, love may be surrounding you, maybe around you, and it's almost a feeling of like, Oh, I wish, you know, timing would be different because I see a lot of momentum for you guys, especially in regards to your finances, in regards to career moves. Um, so again, try the best you can to be patient. Try to keep everything in balance. All right, so let's get into your reading. Now, your first card in regards to the element of air, we have the world card. So the world card could signify travel. For some of you guys, this is communication that... Uh, perhaps people that you're no longer dealing with or haven't been dealing with for quite a while start to come back around. There is communication or there is a feeling of um, wanting to reconnect. And I feel that this is on their part, not on your part, Aries. So you may be hearing from people that you haven't been dealing with for quite a while. Now, in regards to the element of earth in regards to your finances we have the page of wands so again this is the energy that i was sensing for you guys there was a oh i'm sorry i'm just hearing sorry you guys <laughs> my phone was going off um so what i was saying is in regards to earth and your finances uh the page of wands is exactly what i was sensing right now when i was shuffling the deck uh this is speaking about uh, a lot of new endeavors for a lot of you guys really taking, it's almost like things are starting to fall in place, even where you felt like there you had missed an opportunity or something kind of had passed, um, passed from you being able to grasp it. Uh, and we're talking about career and finances here. I feel that it's coming back around because... It's like you weren't ready at some point, Aries, uh, in regards to some type of career move. Uh, and it was Spirit's way of trying to help you, really uh, get you to that moment of being able to not only attain it, but to actually feel an achievement towards that. So again, I feel that for some of you guys, there could have been a feeling of you missed an opportunity. It's coming back around in the month of April. I feel that there is a lot of new endeavors for you guys in regards to finances, in regards to how you make money. Um, so again, if there was a situation specifically in the past that you were trying to either do, trying to get a position uh, that perhaps was given to someone else and you felt like you missed that opportunity, something is going to unravel in the month of April where you're going to be at the forefront and it is up to you to take that opportunity and you will succeed in it, Aries, because now you're ready. Um, so very, very positive. Now the challenge here for a lot of you guys for the month of April, we have the tower. So the tower is, uh, again, it's, it's, it's a feeling of, I'm getting a lot of like rushed energy like like feeling like you're being um pulled towards different directions for some of you guys love may find you and it is very unexpected all the while you're chasing a goal a dream some type of aspiration and you feel like i wish this could have happened sooner because now i'm busy i don't have a lot of time what they're telling you is there is transformative energy coming towards you aries and this is a very positive thing why 
because it's going to greatly impact you, not just this month of April, but it's going to impact the next coming months for you. The tower is that of, you know, shaking your core, uh, breaking down barriers, breaking down anything that you thought you wanted at some point and kind of being able to see it through different eyes. And uh, for some of you guys, much more focused. For others of you, it could represent even challenging because it is in the challenged position. So the tower is being shaken. It represents unexpected changes that you were either, again, had given up on, didn't think you would get another turn, another round at it, wouldn't get another opportunity, and it's coming back around and it's coming unexpected. But the positive thing in this is that the tower is not necessarily a negative thing. A lot of people fear the tower, but when we're surrounded by positive cards as we have here, what they're speaking about is that this transformative energy is going to push you forward in the direction that you're meant to be in Aries. So very beautiful energy. Now, in regards to love and romance, you have the Ace of Wands. So again, I kind of sense that with the tower, they're telling me there is going to be unexpected connection or unexpected relationship that is going to come about all the while when you're extremely busy. So again, it's a feeling of, oh my God, I'm frustrated because I really want to, you know, give time to this person or go out on a date with this person, etc. But you're being pulled towards a lot of different directions. What they're telling you here is just try to keep the uh, try the best you can to keep balance, Aries. That's going to be very important. But I see major transformation for you guys, not only in the career and in your finances, but also in regards to your love life. So very, very positive. I almost forgot. Let's see what the uh, spirits direct message is we have the moon card so again i feel that for a lot of you guys this passing full moon that we just experienced uh is it's really it's really going to affect you uh aries obviously we're in aries season there's a lot of things that are going to be clearing up for you for some of you guys it could have been that you were stuck or fixated on a certain idea or percept uh perception of how you want it I apologize, I just sneezed. <laughs> um, a, a certain idea or perception of what your life, what you would think your life was, and this is Spirit's way of telling you. You're going to get what you've been wanting, Aries, but it's going to come very unexpected to you, and it's not the way you expected it to be. It's going to, it's almost like a Spirit is telling you, we're going gift, to gift you all the blessings that you've known you've wanted to attract or bring towards you, but it's going to come through a specific individual, a person that you were not expecting to have a very deep connection with, or it's going to come through circumstances for some, could be someone in the workplace uh, that either gets fired or decides to leave. There is an open opportunity there and you're the one that's going to take it, Aries. So again, a lot of illumination after this full moon, a lot of things falling into place, Aries. I love this energy. It's almost like um, I'm kind of sensing the energy of kind of how uh, I want to say Capricorn felt. Um, the sign of Capricorn, how it felt last year around the month of June and July. It was very, very like scattered energy because a lot of responsibilities, a lot of growth. And people often fear responsibilities, but that's the only way growth comes through. So again, do not be, do not feel like you're being challenged or do not feel, actually I should rephrase that. If you are feeling like you're being challenged, do not fear that this is a positive thing. Why? Because it's going to be the ultimate indicator that you're progressing Aries. And here we have balance, <laughs> angel of balance, which is the, the center focal energy that I felt for you guys. It's going to be very important to maintain a balance, to maintain um, it's all about uh, the word that's coming to mind right now is it's going to be all about um, discerning what's important for you. It's prioritizing. It's, you know, going down that checklist because there's going to be a lot of momentum. The beauty behind this is there's a lot of growth and success for you, Aries. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.